Imagine you're an undergraduate studying medicine. You're watching a demonstration of the machines used for genetic testing. You've learned the theory. You know that medical conditions like cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia are inherited and you know how they can be detected in people's genes, their DNA. When you graduate, you'll be a doctor. You'll order genetic tests for your patients and they'll be done for you. Right now, you don't have hours to spare learning how these tests are done, so you just get this demonstration. We wanted to change that. The SWIFT project at the University of Leicester created a virtual genetics lab where students can experience the process of genetic testing. In this virtual world, they don't need to learn exactly how to do the tests, just to understand how the different procedures fit together and how they connect with the theory. This display guides them, like a personal tutor, each step represents actions they've seen in the real labs. For example, they click on the samples to place them in the machine. They click on the machine to start the process. But here, we go beyond what the real labs can do. As the virtual machine runs, students see a 3D animation showing what happens to the molecules inside the machine. This is theory they've already studied, represented in context. As they move through the procedure, they experience the sequence of events for genetic testing. The PCR machine that multiplies the patient's DNA. The water bath where reactions take place to cut the DNA. The gel that separates DNA fragments by size. Again, an animation is shown to demonstrate the actual process. Student feedback is clear. The overwhelming majority find this experience helpful, both for new learning and for revision. The SWIFT lab remains as an openly available resource for future students a successful example of teaching with virtual worlds.